let's go ahead and get some race mode going on our Tyrannus X9D 2019. First thing you'll need to do is go to FR Sky's uh, download page, select the Archer RS download. We're going to go to firmware. We're going to select uh, 2.16. We're going to go ahead and click on that. We're going to download that zip file. As of right now, uh, race mode only runs on 2.16 on the RS, Archer RS. It does not run on the M plus um, or anything like that. It's only on the RS. The other thing we have to download is we have to flash the internal module on the radio. So we're going to select our Trans X90 plus 2019. We're going to go down to ISRM firmware. We're going to grab that zip. Third thing we'll need to do is download a new version of OpenTX for our radio. Um, that's in a link uh, down below. So we're going to unzip. We're going to plug in our radio, select um, mass storage mode on the radio, and we're going to drop each one of these zip files straight on the radio. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup here uh, just to get rid of the old versions. I always keep a folder of old versions um, on the radio just in case I need them. Do not delete them because FR Sky has a habit of getting rid of old versions of firmware. So become a hoarder. So I'm going to cl finish cleaning these up. Then I'll start dropping in our new ones. And I always just leave them named exactly like they are. Just make sure you unzip them because if you just drop the thing straight in, uh, the radios can't unzip the files. So I'm going to open up the actual RS firmware. Um, you'll also notice that all of the other mod uh, Archer receivers use the same firmware except for the RS. The RS actually has a different firmware. So next I'm going to open up Companion. I'm going to take the battery out of my radio and I'm going to plug it in via DFU mode, which means you just plug it straight into USB. You do not do anything else. Um, it'll then pop up in DFU mode. If it doesn't, there is a um, way to do that in the link in the video. So I'm going to select my fir uh, firmware. This is beta firmware um, coming directly from FR Sky. Um, make sure to back up your radio and do all that fun stuff before you flash, just in case something weird happens. So it's in DFU mode. It's going to transfer. I did a little jump here, so we don't have to wait for it to flash. After it finishes flashing, that is the last thing we have to do at the computer. Then we're going to head out to the bench. Put your battery back in, power up the radio, make sure it powers up. You should still have all of your models and stuff. You should not have to restore those. And then you'll be good to go. All right, so we're on the bench now. We're going to push and hold the menu button. Hit page until we go down to firmware. The first thing we're going to do is flash the radio module itself. We're going to scroll all the way down to X9D 2019 ISRM 2.16. We're going to push on that, scroll down to the actual firmware, push and hold on that, say flash internal module. It's going to flash the internal module, it'll take a minute or two. All right, so after that is done, as we get flash successful, we're going to back out. We're now going to flash the receiver. You're going to have to have the receiver already bound when you do this. If you're not bound, it will not work. So we're going to select firmware Archer. We're going to push and hold. Now here's the cool thing about access. You don't have to plug in the receiver to flash it. So we're going to flash RX by uh, initiating OTA. Now, like all access stuff, you're going to plug in the receiver and power it up after you start the buying procedure. It's going to pop up that it does see the receiver. It's an RS. We're going to push and hold on it. And we're, it's going to tell us what the current version is. And now we're going to flash. Alright, 
So that flash was successful. All right, so let's go ahead and activate race mode. The key to it is you have to have race mode activated in the radio before you power your quad on. Also, race mode has to be activated every single time you turn the radio on. FR Sky says they're going to fix this at some point and either let you put it on a switch or something like that, but right now you have to manually go into the menus and do that. So, hit menu, hit page. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. We're going to go back to the top. You'll see your racing mode box there. Go ahead and check that. Then you're gonna come over to your quad. Power it up. That'll sync everything up. You will not get a telemetry um, notification or anything like that because telemetry is off for race mode. And that's it. It's all good to go. Um, you do not want to activate race mode with the quad powered up. Um, otherwise, you'll start getting some weird noise in the signal that will cause bad days. So, there you go. FR Sky, race mode. So, let's take a look at some black box here. When I first took the quad out and did some capturing on it, um, I was actually pretty upset with the way that this looks. If you look, every about 200 milliseconds, we're getting a frame that jumps up to 12 milliseconds and it'll hang there. And occasionally it'll pop up to 8 milliseconds, but it's not spending that much time at 4 milliseconds, which is what it should be on. Um, if you look at the average refresh rate, it is 4 milliseconds pretty locked, but it's just not great. And normal access will be locked right at 7 milliseconds the entire time. You won't see any of these jumps. Um, how it does that is up for debate. We're not going to get into that here. Um, but these 12 milliseconds and 8 millisecond jumps were driving me up the wall. So I tried different things. Then I unhooked S port. Um, I was running F port on all of these quads and I went back to just standard S bus. Um, so I have S bus hooked up and S port hooked up for telemetry, even though with race mode you're not using telemetry. I like having it there anyway. Um, so I jumped back to S bus and the signal is extremely clean. Like the highest we're getting up to is 4.31 millisecond, just a little jump there. Um, we're even getting down to 3.63. Um, and that's how this entire thing looks. I mean, it is just rock solid clean like the highest it's getting right there is let's see that's our highest peak as a 4.47 millisecond um so yeah if you're going to run race mode rewire your quads if you're running f port get off f port go to straight s bus um and use s port for telemetry um that's going to require me to rewire all of my quads but it looks like it's worth it so there you go guys